Cindy out here with my artsy endeavors. How are we doing today? I am doing pretty well. Um, I've been working on getting some videoing done, some recording done because, um, yeah, I'm going to be moving very soon. So we've got a lot of work to do. But what we're here to talk about this week um, in my creative year, and remember I told you guys I'm focusing on chronic pain in here, right? So that in there um let's see that was this this was March actually these belong in here you guys have already seen the video for these um, this here is another video series called my giant life if you're interested in those definitely go check out uh, my YouTube channel and when there's a few other artists that is um, something that Ann Williamson has done so today we're gonna talk about um, we're doing colors this month, right? So the first color for this week is red. All right. When I think, I'm just going to move this to the side here. When I think of red and I think of chronic pain, um, it makes me, uh, it, it just makes me hurt all over okay so when I associate a color with chronic pain red is extreme red is where I end up um, on the couch usually binging on Netflix um, maybe playing with my iPad not so much though I'm just an extreme amount of pain that is my um, red season not my red season. Really? Where did I come up with these words? <laughs> I think that's called fibromyalgia fog um, because it's really weird. Sometimes these words just come out of my mouth. I'm like, huh? But anyways, um, so we're talking about red and we're talking about chronic pain. Um, red is just awful. It's a day when um, I just as soon go curl up in bed and just cry. It's a day when... Um, I don't want anybody to touch me because I'm in so much pain. So let's get this down. I just grabbed one of my sheets. This one I grabbed because I had the red dots on it. Remember, I put a clear thing of gesso on this side of it. Um, let's see if we can find some reds here. Here's a deep red. Of course, all my paints fall out. Uh, let's use this one too. This is a... Uh, cranberry wine. Now, I'm sure you're asking me, oh my gosh, where'd you get this little guy? This little guy was something that I had asked Gina Aarons to draw for me, oh gosh, a year ago. And um, I will put it in the file um, in my creative year and um, as a freebie because this is just fantastic to use for chronic pain. Um, I will also add it to my chronic pain group. Um, which is art play through chronic pain and uh, whoops you'll be able to get it there as well so you know use it um, for your own personal um, goodness and enjoy all right so let's get back to this first thing I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna do it underneath here I'm gonna journal and what I'm gonna journal about basically is my pain so give me a minute we'll go ahead and do that and I'll be right back with you Okay, so what I've done is I've done just a little bit of journaling on here. And basically, I'm talking about um, my pain and, you know, what, just different questions to myself. Like, why do I have to deal with it? And, you know, how come I can't get it gone? And, you know, the normal questions we always ask. Um, I am, I've got another red here, too, called Christmas Red. I'm taking all these shades of red, and I'm going to see what I can do with them. And we are going to make a journal page based on this red. Um, that one's actually got pink on it, which is cool. We'll use that. All right, so I'm going to start out with this Christmas red. And basically, I'm just going to cover this all up. Because why not cover up? Ooh, maybe I won't cover this up. <laughs> it's all good. Let's try this one. Uh, that'll work a little bit. So... What, how do you associate um, colors with your pain? Um, we have, um, this week is red. And like I said, red to me is extreme. Um, when I have red days, I just, I am in so much pain. I don't want anybody to look at me. 
I sure as heck don't want anybody to touch me because um, the pain is just completely excruciating. Uh, this goes a lot for my uh, back pain, which happens when I do a lot of um, traveling or walking. The more I walk, the more it hurts. And I mean, it hurts. It's like my legs will start dragging and it's just really not cool. So, you know, the more I walk, the more I hurt, the more I sit, the more I hurt. If I lay down for too long, I hurt. But even with all of that, on days that are red, those are just extreme. Those are days when I just want to curl up in a ball and go to sleep and just try to go to sleep or just crawl in a hole and, and just everybody leave me alone. And that's just, that's how it is with chronic pain. Um... Let me dry this up, and then I will be right back. All right, so I've got this stencil here that looks kind of like a Tetris stencil. At least that's what it reminds me of. Um, if you don't know what Tetris is, um, just Google it. It's a, uh, it's a game that you can play on your phone or your computer or wherever. So, and you know, when you're living with chronic pain, your life kind of is like Tetris. <laughs> um, you know, you have to work on those building blocks and you have to work on um, your, what, what you can do to take care of that chronic pain at that time. Um, so, Tetris is actually kind of cool because, yeah, you have to learn. You have to learn what tools to put in your toolbox so that when you're having these extreme days like this one, like the red, um, that you know you can figure out how to live with it. Uh, some days it seems impossible. Some days when you're in the red mode, you just want to give up. And trust me, I know. I know what it's like. I've been there. So yeah, my days, I've had days where I just... I just did not want to even breathe. It hurt to breathe. It's the easiest way to put it. It hurt to breathe. So that stencil I thought was quite fitting. Now I'm going to dry this really quick. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start putting down. Um, I'm going to put down my little guy here. Uh, we're going to do some doodling on this. We're going to put down a guy. we got more to do. Let me dry it up. I'll be right back. Okay, now my sweet dear friend Gina Ahrens um, has some new stamps out this year. You definitely have to check them out in her Etsy shop. It's Gina B. Ahrens. Um, this is set number 13. It's called Wild Heart. And this um, jar really spoke to me. And the reason it did is because chronic pain, remember I said a toolbox, you have to find things in your toolbox. Well, you don't specifically have to use a toolbox. In this case, what we're going to use is we're going to use a jar. So what I'm doing is I'm just putting white paint that I had on my palette here. I'm putting it on the stamp. Yes, I will clean it off when I'm done. But I'm just going to put some white on the stamp, and then I want to put it right here. And let's see if we have a jar. Yay! We have a jar! Alright, so let me grab a baby wipe and I'll clean off this stamp. I love it. And what this is about is instead of using a toolbox, we're going to figure out what we can do on these really high pain days and put them in our jar. So I'm just going to wipe this off because I don't want the paint staying on my stamp. So this is just another thing to show you that you can use your stamps. You don't have to use ink all the time. Use paint. Just make sure that when you're done, you wipe off the paint. Okay? Just dry it here on my towel. So there it is. And you know what? These little leaves, we are going to actually put these out on paper and then I'll put what I want in the jar. So that's the first thing I'm doing. Second thing I'm going to do is I want to... I'm going to put this guy down. Let me glue it. Um, let's just use some matte medium. We've got it right here. If I can get into my matte medium. Ugh, there we go. Alright, just throw a little right there. 
I'm gonna get this all wet down. And this little guy is this little guy's body is well, it's, I don't know, it's a guy, it's a girl. This little this girl's body is gonna be me. So what I'm gonna document on this is what happens when I have a day of massively hard pain. All right, what else did I want to stick? I want to stick these down, so let's leave that glue there. Okay, let me grab, I want to grab a piece of maybe pink paper. And actually, do, 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 hold on. Let me grab some pink paper. I'll be right back. All right, so this is actually a piece of wallpaper. Um, came out of an old wallpaper book that... I was going by a, a paint store and I stopped in and I asked him, I said, do you have any old wallpaper books? And he says, he says, I can check. He says, normally they come and go really quick, but I'll check. And he had one in the back. So I went in through it and I took everything I wanted from wallpaper out of it. Um, some of them were really ugly. Some of them were really cool. But anyways, I took them all out and then... Um, now I can use them in my art. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stamp off some of these leaves. Um, and we're going to use these to put our quote-unquote tools uh, in. I'm going to leave this here because it's going to be one extra. That's fine. All right. Um, I'm gonna, we're going to use this to put what we do on these really, really bad days to help us make it through the day. All right, so let's do that. So I'm just going to cut them out really quick. And let's use them. So I'm really interested in seeing um, what you guys do, you know, on your, your really bad pain days. Uh, they're there. See, I'm not going to fussy cut them really, you know, right down to the... doesn't matter. We're just... we're learning about ourselves while we do this. And we're creating, and I'll be honest with you, um, uh, yesterday I had a very high pain day and a very difficult day. And, you know, it, it just... Ugh. So today I'm just kind of um, trying to not think about yesterday. I do still have quite a bit of pain going on, but I'm also, you know, I have painkillers that I can use. So, and sometimes I just, you know, it gets to the point where I have to use them. And that's okay. That's what they're there for. So, like I said, I'm really interested in seeing what you guys do on your high pain days. I know there's um, several people that um, I've spoke with and, you know, they stay in bed all day. And unfortunately, I can't do that. I, it, I, it ju I just can't. Um, I am very uncomfortable if I try to stay in bed. Um, I would rather be up and, I guess, miserable <laughs> on the couch than uh, being in bed all day. I just can't do it. So, um, you know, that's an option. Um, you know, put on some music. That's another option. I know when I get really just kind of messed up in my head about, oh, I can't take this anymore. A lot of times if I put on my favorite music, and um, my favorite music is country. I do love country music. Um, when I put that on, I can, I can kind of just get out of my head and just sing along to the music. And it does help. Does it take the pain away? Absolutely not. Does it help? Yeah, it helps for that couple minutes. You know, while you're trying to deal with the pain, it, it just takes that few minutes to get you out of your head um, and to try to get your focus off of the pain to be able to help you deal with that pain for a longer period of time. So, yeah, I will come into the studio, and even if I'm just sitting here, um, you know, look, looking at my paints... I will come into the studio and I will just start, um, I gotta put these sponges away, I will just, you know, turn up my music, turn it on, turn it up, and just chill. Because, like I said, it gets me that few minutes off my brain. So, 
let me, I don't want this guy to stand out all white here, so I'm just going to, this is an Arteza um, watercolor pencil. I love these. These pencils are so cool, and they're really cheap. They're only like 20, 25 bucks, um, and I just love the colors. The colors pop, and they're just really cool pens. I like them. Pencils. They're all color. They're woodless. There's no wood. That's all solid color. So, where is my, let's see, like I said, I don't want him to, I don't want all that white to stand out, so we're going to put that down. And then what we're going to do is we are going to um, put our tools into the jar. Like I said, I always use the proverbial toolbox, but today it's going to be a jar. And... We're going to take those tools and we're going to remember that when we have really high pain days, sometimes you can't even think when you're in that much pain, but you know what? You'll be able to come back to my creative year, pick up your notebook, your composition book, your file box, whatever it is that you're using this year, and you'll be able to pull out your, um, today, the red, and see what it does, see what you can do. So, let me grab pen. I've got so much stuff on my desk here, it's crazy. Um, Alright, here's a pen. still have this glue, which is good. So, let's take this pen. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my ice machine. Uh, it does help. It helps me to take care of dealing with that pain. It kind of, it brings it down a little bit. You know what, I was going to leave these doodles here on the bottom, but I um, don't like them, so let's take them off. Alright, so here we're going to take some of that off too. So here's one, my ice machine. What's another thing I can do? Um, I can use my, uh, I can't use my paint patches with my ice machine, but if I don't use my ice machine, I can use my paint patches. Okay. I can turn on music. I can lose myself in um, binge watching Netflix. What else can I do? I can. Hold on. One of the things I do is I draw on my iPad. Okay. All right, those are just the ones off the top of my head. Now, what I want to do, you know, I'm going to put another one in here. And, you know, I've heard some people say, oh, no, don't do that. It makes the pain worse. But you know what? Sometimes when you just have a good cry, it helps. Um, another thing I can do is... Um, Ask my hubby for a hug. Okay. Some of these are just little things, but you know what? They make a big difference when you're in that chronic pain mode. So let's get these put in here. Actually, well, before I do that, I want to get this a little bit whiter. So we're going to take these. This I'm just going to outline this a little bit whiter. Sometimes, you know, it helps if you want to call family or call a friend, um, especially one that understands. Uh, don't bother calling the ones that don't understand because that just makes things worse. So, all right, so here's my jar. Okay. So let's glue these down into the jar. So number one, like I said, was ice machine. I better dry this up real quick. I don't want that paint smudging. So, all right, here we go. Number one, ice machine. <gasps> oh, I forgot there was not a, uh-oh. Look what I did. 
we're going to do this a little different because that ink is not permanent. So let's do them with a glue stick. Can't use that matte medium. I'm still going to put my ice machine down just because I use it a lot. So maybe if I can get it up off the table now. There it is. So there's my ice machine. It's kind of blurry, but that's okay. Um, here's the binge we watching Netflix. So we'll put this, whoops, it's got to be in the jar, huh? Let's see, we'll stick that right here. Here's a good cry. So let's stick a good cry in there. Right? Um, let's see, we're going to go to the hubby for a hug. So let's put that in here. Alright, sometimes we just need to turn on the music. Now, if you don't, you know, want to do, you know, your favorite music, like a country music or something like that, try doing just a relaxation music. Um, there's a lot of times when you listen to that, you can just kind of float away in it. Um, meditative, meditative music, that always helps. Something of that nature. All right, here we're going to put the pain patches. It's going to come up out of our jar and drawing on my iPad. So we're just going to have those come up out of our jar. And then what I'm going to do is redraw my jar. Just to make sure we know they're in the jar. Okay. All right, I'm going to dry this up really good, and then we'll be right back. Okay, so while I was sitting here waiting for my husband to get done on a phone call so I could keep creating, I decided to grab my white uh, Uniball Signo pen, and I just kind of messed around with some of those Tetris. So now what I want to do is I'm going to write a few affirmations on here, and basically what I want to do is I just want to write a few things. Um, for example, like, um, you know, don't give up. Um, tomorrow's got to be better, which it does. Uh, days like this, they can get very numbing to you and make you just want to, you know, put your head under the pillow and just stay there forever. But um, you can make it through these days. You're strong. You, you have the wherewithal in you to make it through these days. Um, I don't know how else to put it because, you know, I, I know there's that old saying, you're only given what you can handle, and sometimes it's like, yeah, I've been given too much. No, you haven't. You have been given what... It, there, I, hmm. I like to say everything happens for a reason. That's what I usually say. And the reason I say that is because, you know... When, when my journey with chronic pain first started, all I could think was, why? Why am I doing this? Why is this happening to me? I had a career. My life was good. Everything was fine. Why? Why am I going through this? And you know what? There's a reason in it all. And the reason that I see at this point is, A, I was in the corporate world. I was working so much. I was never home. Um, and now, you know, I went from that to overnight being home 24 hours, 7 days a week, pretty much, um, other than doctors and lawyers and that kind of appointment. And what is the lesson in it all? To me, that lesson is I have now the opportunity to help people like you and to try to um, help people that are going through this same uh, process. Chronic pain is difficult. It's very, very difficult. All right, what I've got here, this is, I don't know, it looks like a dollar store pen. It's supposed to smell like a strawberry. Hmm, kind of does. Um, so this is just a red pen. Now this guy here, I'm actually, what I'm going to do is put where my pain is, okay? Now, <coughs> I've got two pens. One is going to be back pain and one is fibro pain. So this one is going to be my back pain. Okay, I have about a three-inch incision right here. 
and my back pain goes like this. About down to my knee, and then it goes like this. Now, everybody's thinking, oh yeah, that's sciatica. Yeah, it is. But I also have permanent nerve damage in this area. So um, it doesn't matter what gets done at this point. Um, this pain is never going to go away. It's permanent damage. Um, they're telling me the only thing they can do next is to put, um, you know, rods and screws and pins and whatever. All right, so that's where this is at. All right, so that's my back pain. Sometimes um, when it gets really bad on a high day, it will feel like I have a steel rod right here in my back. And it goes about here to what I consider my bra strap area. All right, so that's where that is. Now, the fibro pain, this is what's really weird. The fibro pain, when I get it, it starts... Oh, I turned it upside down. Yeah, I did for a reason. It starts right here at the base of my head. Um, it, it's right at the bottom of my skull. And it will come down my neck. And then it decides to spread out my entire arms down to my wrists and my fingers. My wrists um, or my fingers will feel like great big huge sausages. And, oh my God, talk about pain. So it just comes down both arms and it takes over this part of my body. Every now and then I will get it coming up over the right side of my head like that. All right, but this is generally um, where my fibro pain is. Now sometimes when I'm having one of these days, my right ankle will get really really bad it'll feel like I can't I just can't step on it I can't put any weight on it my wrists get really really bad my shoulders are just plain excruciating this through here is just just excruciating okay so that's the easiest way I can depict that all right and like I said there Every once in a great while, I'll get a little bit of that, what I call touch pain, um, on the cheeks of my butt. Why? I don't know. But it happens. All right. So there's my little guy, uh, girl. There's me showing you where my pain is at. Now, as far as affirmations, um, I want to just write a couple things on here. Um, one is never give up. And tomorrow's got to be better. Tomorrow has to get better. Now, there are times that I will wake up and I like, you know, I'll have a really bad day, right? So then I'm like, oh, tomorrow's got to get better. I wake up. And it's another really bad day. So you know what I do? Same exact thing I did the day before. I accept it. It's going to happen. There's not a thing I can do to change it. It is what it is. It's going to be here. It's not going away. So you know what? Well, I guess today I get to catch up on more Netflix. Um... Maybe I'll color my coloring book depending on how, you know, my, my joints are feeling. You know, maybe I'll just sit here and not do much of anything. My, my ink is coming off. Um, maybe I'll just sit here and do what nothing. Okay? You know, maybe I'll just curl up on the couch with a good book. Um, dinner doesn't get made, which I can't say that because I don't cook a lot at all anymore. Um, but yeah. We just take it one day at a time, and if today doesn't look good, tomorrow's got to look better. If tomorrow doesn't look good, the next day's got to look better. All right, so there is my take on chronic pain with the color red. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry this up real quick, 
and I am just going to play on this back side. So that's just going to be a little bit of bonus for you guys. Um, I'm, like I said, I want to dry this up really well. I'm going to flip it over. I might do a little bit of journaling. And then I'm just going to play around and um, do the back side of my page. So I will be back in a bit.
guys, so there's my play for the back side of this page, which I had a lot of fun doing. Um, I was going to put like one of these, um, what is it, where the wild things are. I got a pack of these guys, and I was going to put one on here, but then I just saw this, you know, while I was painting, or while I was putting stuff down, I saw this really cool guy, and it looks like he was walking up over a mountain, so there we go. All right, so I hope you guys have enjoyed. Like I said, definitely, um, you know, take a look at your chronic pain, and take a look at what you can do when you have days like this, which I consider the color red, which is extreme pain. And see what you can put in your jar or in your toolbox or in your basket, whatever you choose to do. And, um, you know, don't forget that you're not alone. And we're always, I'm always here. If you want to chat, just give me a ping. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.